Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious fish curry with freshwater fish or Bengali fish. Let's get started how to make this wonderful fish curry and I'm sure you will love it. But before that don't forget to subscribe, like and share the recipe and watch the recipe until the end. I'm sure you will love it. Thank you so much for watching. Let's begin. I have here around one kilo of fish. This is freshwater fish, Bengali fish. Okay. To this now I'm gonna add some salt. Next, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of turmeric powder. And around quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder. Nicely rub it. Let's prepare the spice paste. In a separate bowl, I'm going to take ginger garlic paste. I've taken around 3 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. To this, I will add around one and a half teaspoon of Kashmiri chili powder for the color and three fourth of a spoon of turmeric powder around one teaspoon of water and I'm quickly going to mix this and make it into a nice paste I'm going to take about 3 medium sized onions and peel them and put them in my mixer blender jar. I'm also going to take about 4 small sized tomatoes and I'm also going to put that also in the blender. I'm going to peel around 1.5 inch ginger and put that as well in my blender. I'll put around 3 cloves of garlic also with the skin 1 teaspoon cumin seeds now these are poppy seeds which is also known as khas khas I'm gonna add 1 teaspoon of this as well this into a very fine paste so here you go see we're now going to fry the fish I'm going to be using mustard oil if you want you can use refined oil but to get a better taste Mustard oil is fine. Now add about 3 tablespoons of oil because we're going to first fry our fish. Let's 
So I've added around three tablespoons of oil to my cooking pot. Now in the same oil that we were cooking, frying our fish, I'm going to add this. This is a blend of five spice, which can this contains fenugreek seeds, nigella seeds, cumin seeds, black mustard seeds, and fennel seeds in equal parts. It should be readily available in the grocery store. If not, you can buy all those separately and use equal parts and make them yourself. Once the pat furan starts spluttering, I'm going to add one onion. Next to this, I'm going to add that chili powder, turmeric and ginger garlic paste, paste that we made. Just add that and fry it as well. I just added about a teaspoon of water to help it fry properly. So once this paste is fried properly and you know that the rawness of powdered masala is gone, let's add the second paste that we made. As you can see now, the paste or the masala that we made has almost dried up and you see oil separating from the spice paste. At this stage, what I'm going to do then is add two cups of water, that's about half a litre.
and let this cook. Also, I'm going to add three green chilies. I'm just going to slit it just for the flavor. I'm just going to cut it like this, slit it like this, and put it. Once it comes up to a boil, I'll just add half a teaspoon of sugar just to make sure that the tartness of the tomatoes don't make it very sour. Okay. Now at this stage, I'm going to add my fried fish which I have fried earlier. Let's check the seasoning. Keep in mind that you've already added salt before to the fish. It does need a little bit of salt. After adding the salt, let's check the seasoning again. Perfect. I'm going to turn off the flame. And just add chopped coriander leaves from top. Give it a nice mix. And shut this for at least 10 minutes. Let it rest before serving it. So here you go. My fish curry is ready. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment. Also don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you get notification when I post my next recipe. Do try this at home. It's delicious to eat and wonderful. See you then next time. Bye bye.